Welcome to another episode of This Goose is Cooked, where we review books intended for our future generations. Join us on a very special day for our first celebrity book review. Today's book, Your Baby's First Words Will Be Dada, by Jimmy Fallon. Published by Faywell and Friends, an imprint of Macmillan. Jimmy Fallon's Big Troll Job For those who may not know Jimmy Fallon, he is an Emmy and Grammy Award winner who first became known on the NBC show Saturday Night Live and is now the host of The Tonight Show on NBC. On the back of this hardback, it gives you a brief summary as to why Jimmy Fallon decided to sit down and write this novel. It explains that Jimmy wanted his daughter's first word to be Dada, to troll his wife Nancy. So he went ahead and put various animals saying the word Dada on almost every page of this book. Jimmy clearly failed, though. His daughter's first word was Mama, so Nancy got the last laugh. There isn't really any context in this book. It leaves it up to the reader to fill in the gaps. The story opens on what looks like to be an angry cow. Actually, it's probably a male, so... A bull. Yelling, I quote, Dada. End quote. At a similar looking cow that is smirking on the next page, saying, I quote, Moo. Why is this cow, sorry, bull, so angry? Is it trying to ruin the other cow's good time by yelling at it? Did the smaller cow do something wrong? Or more likely, does the bull have mad cow disease? Because I've never heard any form of cattle make the sound da-da. Only moo. If this bull is supposed to be Jimmy Fallon, he should know that getting angry at a child and trying to force them to do something is a recipe for disaster. Moving on, you see sheep. So after the first few pages, I'm going to take a guess and say this story takes place on a farm. This time, you see the bigger sheep looking insecure or sad. You could almost say it looks sheepish. Shouting the word, I quote, Dada. And there's the little sheep on the next page, looking scared or surprised, saying, Bah. Did the little sheep catch the bigger sheep doing something he shouldn't have been doing? Is that why the bigger sheep shouted a sound that sheep don't make either? I don't know. But I do know, if you want a child to say or do something, you better be confident in telling them it's the right thing to do. And this sheep isn't doing that. This book continues this charade with ducks, bees, a surprised dog, an extremely angry looking rabbit, a shocked cat, a creepy looking mouse that has no arms, a pair of asses, a disdainful hog, a frog that has given up and won't even look at his kid, a cock with a thousand yard stare, and ends on a horse who looks like he's just playing with his kid because his wife forced him to. Then you get to the last few pages and all the barnyard animal dads, I'm going to assume they're dadas, are standing in a group on one side of the meadow. All of the dads have the same stupid looks on their faces from earlier in the book, and all the barnyard animal children are on the other side. It's at this point when the book states, I quote, Now everybody get in line. Let's say it together one more time. End quote. And I realize this is one of those father-child camps, and they are in a therapy session. Because those words didn't come from the dads. They came from the point of view of a camp counselor or therapist. You turn to the last page and all the barnyard animals shout, I quote, Dada! End quote. Except for one. The duck still says, Quack. That kid's dad is looking like he's having a bad week. The rest of the dads look a tiny bit relieved. But there's definitely a good reason they're at this workshop. Get these dads a beer. They could use it. And the duck dad, get him a whole case. It's not going to be fun for him when he goes home and explains to his wife that their kid was the only kid who couldn't complete the task. Good luck. Jimmy clearly didn't put a lot of thought into this troll job. It's a little too repetitive, with not enough context. There's a good reason this book failed with his daughter, because the reader wants to put in the same amount of time reading it as Jimmy did writing it, which is about two seconds. As a reader, 
I wanted to skim through this book and flip through the pages as fast as I could. There's something to be said, though, about making money off of what seems to be an afterthought troll job. And Jimmy did just that. Not all was bad. I have to give some credit to the concise writing, and the pictures did spark the imagination. So on a scale from 1 to 5, for our first celebrity book review, I'm going to give this book a 2.2. I'll have a taste, then push it around on my plate to make it look like I ate it, and maybe think about going back for a second bite. This goose is cooked. Join us next time for another in-depth book review. <laughs>